BART'S BOARD OF DIRECTORS APPROVED A COVID VACCINE MANDATE TODAY FOR ALL EMPLOYEES. KTVU'S JANA KATSUYAMA JOINS US NOW LIVE FROM WALNUT CREEK TO EXPLAIN THE DETAILS AND WHEN THIS NEW MANDATE TAKES EFFECT. JANA. Julie, in addition to all of the employees, BART's board of directors, as well as consultants and contractors, will need to be vaccinated. Right now, BART is estimating about 20% of their employees have not been vaccinated, and now they have until December 13th to do it. BART is seeing more riders returning, some for the first time since the pandemic began. Just like fully vaccinated and feeling more comfortable. As trains become more crowded, BART's board of directors decided Thursday on a vaccine mandate for all employees. Currently, there are 833 employees still unvaccinated out of 3,900 total employees. So the vast majority of BART employees are vaccinated. The board's vice president, Rebecca Saltzman, says the vaccine mandate is important as BART ridership increases heading into the winter months. People who are vaccinated are less likely to get COVID, they're less likely to spread it, and they're less likely to be hospitalized or die from COVID. And so we want to protect BART workers and BART riders. As events return, so are BART riders. Thursday's Giants game bringing some newcomers. This is actually my first time ever taking BART. Ever? Yes. And how does it feel? Um, <laughs> good. I mean, it's just a new experience and it's pretty cool. BART ridership hit new pandemic records last Friday with the Giants Fleet Week and Warriors events. Friday was the highest single day record since March 2020, with more than 120,000 people boarding BART, about 28% of pre pandemic levels for a Friday. Some riders say they support the vaccine mandate, but do not want to see people lose their jobs. Yeah, then I think that it should be uh, as fine as long as they look at that, work with the unions. I think it should be fine. As we've been developing this, we've been talking to our late labor partners partners the whole way and that will continue to happen. BART management and BART labor unions are going to start negotiating early next week to look at exactly what that looks like and what the process will be for people to get exemptions and what it will look like for those who don't get vaccinated. And BART's policy that was passed today does leave some room for negotiation with those labor unions over exactly whether testing might be an option for some people who get religious or medical exemptions. Julie. All right. Janet Katsuyama reporting live tonight in Walnut Creek. Janet, thank you.